All right, hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is John Hammond, and this time we're checking out the Kaizen CTF. Still going through the web challenges. This time I want to showcase the Fun with Flags uh, 1 challenge. This was 200 points, um, was really kind of interesting and fun. Um, wasn't too difficult once we saw what we needed to do here. So here's the challenge prompt. Dr. Sheldon Cooper is bringing Vexicology back with his Fun with Flags podcast. He also has a brand new website, which is a ton of flags, how meta. Check out his page here and find the flag in the PHP source code for members.php. Okay, so we need to find source code, PHP source code. Source code. We can check out the web page, and it's a, it's a funny um, Sheldon Cooper thing. <clears throat> Looks like there are some buttons here that don't go anywhere other than the exact same page, despite they are advertising other things. Um, latest video. Okay, that looks like a real video. I'm not going to play that because of copyright stuff. Um, and it looks like there are links to sign up and log in. So can I log in? Do the instant reflex number of hackers. We've added the CAPTCHA. So I don't, obviously, obviously don't have an account, so I guess I can try with the simple basic ones. Five and four, that's nine. Okay, that is not a real thing, obviously. How about, can I register an account? Sign up. Credit card process is currently unavailable, and we cannot process new signups. Okay. So I'm assuming this is a dead end. At least, just for thoughts-wise. Um, I tried throwing it at some low-hanging fruit. I throwed it at Nikto, the command line thing to scan it. I also checked out the robots.txt, and that was what initially threw me at the interesting things. I see not a flag.png, I'm oh, sorry, .php, which just for potty words and giggles I went to. Oh god! <laughs> and I don't want to get any copyrights for that. But that was funny. And there's a git repo here. So, whoa, that's immediately what we need to do now because I, t I can tell it's a git repo. So I can finally, I can hopefully find the source code of the web page, right? So the tools that I ended up using to do this because I've seen this kind of challenge before is a git dumper. And I think Internet Wash, yeah, Internet Wash, or however you say this, they have a script to do this. They have Git tools, and Git Dumper is the one you can use to Git uh, repository. So let's crank this out. Let's go ahead and take the web page, and we'll hop over to Terminal. Let's make directory for this, fun with flags. One, let's CD over there. And Git Dumper is the name of the script. It's in my utilities folder. Git tools. Dumper, git dumper sh, and it wants the URL with the dot git attached, and it wants the destination directory. So we'll just call it source, and then it downloads everything. So awesome! We can change directory in there, and there's currently nothing in there, but we know it's a git repository, so we can git log, and we okay, we see the history, initial commit of the logs, and we get this SHA one. ID number, the SHA-1 hash to be the commit ID number, so I can show that, and there we go. Now we have all the source code for the web page, supposedly. So you can scroll through this as much as you want. Um, what I tried to do was to git show and grep for the flag format, so Kaizen, and there we go, we get our flag. So that's what we can go ahead and submit. We'll copy that, and then we're done, right? That's our flag. <laughs> That solves this challenge. That's all that we need to do. If we wanted to, you could keep scrolling through this. Um, this does get into how you can break into the next challenge, um, which I will showcase in the next video. But that's what you do. You download the Git repository and look through the source code files that he kept for whatever reason on the web page. That's a pretty common CTF web challenge these days. Or at least I've seen it around many, many times now, is seeing a Git repository and just dumping it and then being able to look through the code that he doesn't want you to see. So keep that in mind, and get to know that Git Dumper tool uh, that I tried to show off from Internet Wash or whatever. You can find this online, and it's totally free to use. So that's the first challenge. Cool. For the Fun with Flags 1 on Kaizen CTF. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm um, showing off some cool tools, I think, and I hope you're enjoying these, these videos for Kaizen CTF. Hope to see you in the next one.